welcome to each topic in this video we will discuss uh, we will practice program from chapter 6 that is array in c program from here you will have to see this simple program here we will declare an array with size uh, fixed size it can be 7 10 or anything and after that we will take input to the array and we will display the element of the array so let's begin with the program at first we will write hashtag include stdio.h after it main function then here we will declare variables int i i for index and one array arr and square bracket will provide the size if we want to declare a size array with size 7 then we'll write inside the square bracket 7 and semicolon that much is enough after that we will write a for loop for i equal 1 i less than 7 here i equal not 1 sorry i equal 0 i less than 7 as arrow array index begin with 0 that's why we are not writing i less than equal 7 if we write less than equal 7 it will accept 8 elements so be careful there then i plus plus and inside the loop we will write again printf statement here we will give a notice to the user that enter something so here we will write enter element percentage d and in place of percent d we are going to display the value of i plus 1 now next line we will scan the element scanf and here percent d and we are going to store the variable or store the number in arr this is the name of the array and in square bracket i input part done now we have to display the output as well again we will write for loop for oh break i equal 0 i less than 7 i plus plus and in bracket we will write printf percentage d and we can give a slash t or we can give a extra space after that a r r in square bracket i oh here in scanf again you will remember when we are using variable in scanf we have to give always m person symbol otherwise it will not store the value inside the variable and now we'll come out from the loop and here we will write return zero sometime uh, you might do this type of mistake while you are typing you might write instead of zero o now we'll see when you write o it will display in black color but if you write zero it will be cross from the middle and also display in pink color so remember that after that we'll have to save the file you can give any name to the file after saving the file we'll have to compile build and run now here asking me to enter the element element 1 let it be 7 element 2 5 element 3 9 element 4 3 element 5 2 element 6 8 element 7 0 and after that we are getting the output 7 5 9 3 2 8 0 so this way we can do this program from array chapter there are many short questions which you can see for your practical examination for oral uh, like uh, what is an array 
array is a collection of similar type of data stored in a homogeneous location oh, array is a collection of home, similar type of data that is stored in contiguous location then what are array, array elements then you can see what is the first index of an array element what is the last index of an array element what are the disadvantages or demerits of an array what is a string array what is the use of str len function so this type of question you can see for oral examination and i think this question is enough for your practical and one more you can see in this question we will have two array and we'll take input to the first array and we'll copy the item to the secondary and display the secondary so to do this question we will we will require two array here a r r one first array suppose then one more array we will take comma a r r two here also we will give the size is seven and for inputting we will take the input in a r r one only that part will be same and for to display the output here in this for loop we will for output also we will write here arr2 but in between between these two for loops here we have to write one more for loop for here we will copy the element of the first array to the second so here we will write i equal 0 i less than 7 and i plus plus and in bracket we will write arr to in square bracket i equal a r r 1 in square bracket i means here i am copying the elements of first array to the second array so only this part extra you will have to write and other part is same only for this program now we will see we will copy the compile the program i am writing the element 5 0, 9, 8, 7, 4, 1. Now it displaying the same element only 5, 0, 9, 8, 7, 4, 1. So this way we can do this program. Now you will see uh, we are taking input in the first array here and in the last part we are displaying array 2. But in the middle one for loop we are copying the elements so this way you can do it i hope uh, your doubts are clear for this chapter thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye